Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and today's mission is to build a quarry and hopefully repair this stupid pickaxe that got damaged because you can't build uh, a quarry with a damaged one because the game is horrible like that and there's no easy way to repair it Oh, I've got a minimum stone now. So I believe I can take this crap out. Get some gold going. And cheat a little bit. I have. I have loads of furnaces. I'll probably build another electric one or something. I can't be bothered with that. The iron in there. Speaking of which, take some of the iron. Stones. No, I don't need stone. I need gears. I need five gears. Is it? Is it five? I think. Seven gears. Okay, so we need seven gears. Put those away. So we put them away. And make another one. I don't like uneven numbers. Okay, they need to all be iron. So we're gonna need some more cobblestone. Stone gears, good. Throw that in there. Throw two pieces in there. We don't wanna don't wanna be wasting our precious coal. Thing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I think the better option would be to build an anvil. So I'm just going to bust this gold out. The minium stone only works on. Uh, don't just need a few more. Minium stone only works on a few items. Not all items can be exchanged. So it's like, yeah, it is equivalent exchange actually, but um, only certain items have been allowed back into. Equivalent exchange, I guess you could say. Probably found it a bit cheaty because it is a bit, it's a bit OP. So this is the Invar blend. Is what you need for magmatic engines and whatnot. Turn these off now. Do we want to turn them on? No, we don't. We'll put some more stuff in them. Uh, 
put some silver in there. And we'll build a chest actually. Build a chest for all our needs of mesh metal metallic needs. Don't need cinder. Put that away. So any more in here? Some copper. Alright. We'll pop this. Here. Oh no, that one. Then we'll we do need to pump out of there. Preferably. We could maybe put this as output red or orange. So that will take both of it? Maybe? Let's see what happens. Turn this back on. Okay, and... Popped. There we go, straight in the chest. Be good if you could have bigger Take a blue spot to fit more in there. Can you put coal in here? No. How are we going to do this? Ah, uh, just leave it as manual for the meantime, I guess. Is it still working? Yeah, it is. It just bugs out a little bit, I guess. All this delicious. Mm, is it this? This? There we go, there we go. Anvil. We'll throw this down. So. Bing! diamond in and a diamond and it will fix it. There we go. Doesn't waste too much money that way. Should have enough, yep, perfect. Oh crap. Oh no, now we need gold. And lots of it. I need 4x4, four four, so I need 16 gold. Oh, no, this is good. Let's mush up some silver. Can I make gold? I oh, know I can make gold, but I mean. No, not that one, this one. Can I turn anything into iron? I can turn wood into obsidian and obsidian into iron. Um, it's only iron that will go into gold, I have to see. I do have an excess diamond, so I can break one of them down to give me some more gold. And I don't really have any logs anywhere. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh no. Silver gives lead. Iron gives ferrous. Is it copper that gives gold? I think it's copper and tin that give gold. 
Turn on. Oh, okay. Might be in trouble then, I guess. I've got some more iron actually. Guess we could turn clay. Sixteen would get me one. Not a lot actually. Feels like I'm getting diminishing returns. Run away and go to our mom. I know that this four, well, two by two block is not very good for um, speed, torches. It's, it's very bad for strip mining. I like things looking symmetrical. Because I'm weird. I know my house isn't so much fun, it does annoy me a little bit. But I think it still looks pretty good. There you go, that's what I was, ah, this is what I was looking for. Preferably some gold though, that would be good. Because I need a lot of iron. I was not prepared for this trip. <laughs>
Hmm. Can't remember where gold is normally. I think it's normally higher up actually. never have too much trouble finding iron. It's just those pesky things like gold or diamonds. I always find I'm always running out of redstone. Redstone always takes forever to get to. And there's never always a great deal of redstone. Take one or two, three or four blocks. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying. Well, there you go, just one or two. I can hear water and lava. Oh, shit. Shit. Damn it. Do I have enough? I've got 18. 18 is 36, so... Um, I'm no good at math. 36 divided by 8 is... 32 for 4 blocks of gold. No, that is not enough. <laughs> Still need lots more. A lot of people like spelunking and all that sort of shizdazzle, but I am a true strip miner. I find it's the most efficient way because you only want a few items and exploring a huge cave takes way longer. You're more likely to die. <laughs> well, I'm more likely to die because I'm a massive scrap. Plus, um, strip mining is a lot safer, <laughs> and I don't get scared as much. Oh no, we're back at the lava almost already. Full up. What don't I need? String, go away. Okay, goodbye, water. At least I know it's some obsidians. So this is gonna hit a chasm, probably? Cave? Or not? Must be above or below it, I'm not sure which one. You never can tell. Oh, there we go, lava. Whoa, she's... <laughs> well, didn't react fast enough to that. Let's 
So why do I have to stop here? Um, damn it. That should have that should stay there. Ow! Ow! Not good. Not good. Oh, thank God. I think a lot of that Nikolite just despawned as I just got there. Oh, there's another noise coming from my house. I live on a busy street. Yes, busy street. Um, a reasonably quiet street. But it's a block of flats, so it's always really noisy. There's a huge draft, so like the door is always like banging on in the middle of the night, going douche, douche, douche. As it keeps getting pushed and pulled back against, like, with this tiny amount of space to move. Which just makes it worse, in my opinion. But it's nice, yeah. It's a quaint Thames, if you would say. Not using my diamond pickaxe again. Okay. My iron count has not gone up at all. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. But it's daytime, so I can cut trees down. I don't know you could turn trees into diamonds, that's obsidian, that's pretty cool I think. No. I've got so much stuff and I don't need that stuff. Speaking of stone, I probably do actually need that stone because I think we used almost all of it up. Some of that crap in that iron in there. Get that going. A really good thing about the pulverizer is the more power you supply to it, or like the more power it has. The faster it will spit out pulverized metals. So at full max power, it'll pulverize a piece of metal in like half a second or something. That's probably not that fast, but it's really quick. And I'm pretty sure it takes more than two, a lot more than two sterling engines to power it at full capacity, full power. I'll always be running out of power on two, two engines. I don't want these trees here. So get rid of them. Plus, I can turn to, turn this delicious wood into obsidian.
that's like the easiest way in mankind to go to the nether. Just get a shard of minium. Um, a stone of minium. Minium stone. Min minium stone. Minium. Minium stone. Oh yeah, I got completely sidetracked actually. I actually wanted to get a carpentry carpenter, which is why I bought this silly pulverizer in the first place. But I mean a quarry is always good to build. Tree logs. I think it was two to make. Yeah. Look at that, 36 obsidian. <laughs> We're gonna turn that all the way. Most of it. I keep some. Obsidian's always good to have. Unless I've run out, then I'll get rid of it. Okay, that's eight gold, so we're halfway there. Oh man. <laughs> or a battery and an alloy furnace. Is that it? It's pretty shit and you can't even use it in can, you? can we use it in the minimum? No. I guess you use it for salt, that makes it that would be bad air. Mm. I shouldn't have made that invar blend. Damn it. I probably have enough now. I do need to smoosh some tin. Do I have tin? Pop the ferris and the end of our game back in.
stupid, stupid zombies bashing on my door. So how much would this give me? Maybe three? Okay, that's giving me three. So that's four. Oh, damn. Just out of time. Well, maybe we'll get another. Thing. All right. So we still don't have enough. This is going to drive me insane. <laughs> Three there. Okay, so I need three gold. There's my chance. I'll need some twigs. Zombies don't give up. Actually, unless I can find an enderman. Let's try and find an enderman. Getting handed to by oh there we go Enderman. Just need to get get rid of these stupid spiders and skeletons. Away from me. Where are you, Andy? Oh there you are. Hello, Enderman. Please. No, they they won't let me get my item. You buggers. Damn it. Wow, it's like rock bottom now, isn't it? <laughs> Literally just scrounging. <laughs> what is um dead do? Yeah, there's a few recipes in here that don't quite match up. Stuff. Give me some flip which I can use again. Mm. 
I don't need all those saplings. I thought you could do more with Flint. Or was I just wrong? Try not to use it, we'll keep it in reserve. We probably will have to use it. Oh, there's a creeper outside. He's just like wandering outside, going, let me in. Go. Let me get some more gravel. We can use that gravel. didn't work out so well. <laughs> Four stacks of dirt. I guess it's gonna have to be trees then. Trees and obsidian. I need 24. I could probably do this a lot faster if I just went to a cave. <laughs> but I'm determined now. And hey, it gets my experience. Well, not experience, I believe. I know how to use equivalent exchange a bit more after all this. Which means I need uh, a hundred and twelve wood. I 
does feel like diminishing returns, but I do know that equivalent exchange is always exactly the same. That's the whole point, it's equivalent. You know, eight blocks of iron and to one gold block. <laughs> One gold block turns into nine blocks. Nine bars of gold. What was that bit? This is, is helping me prepare for my bees, which I'm going to try and get done next episode. Because I don't need to do that much, I just have to get some seed oil actually. And that can be troublesome. But seed oil can be quite easy to get. Once you've got going. Until then, you know, it's extremely difficult. You have to smush like hundreds of seeds. Which can be difficult to get. Oh, I'm full of winter. I don't need saplings. So we have some apples in there. Oops. I might have to check the wiki then because I'm not sure how to get seed oil. Uh, if you can ever, if you can get seed oil from anything other than seeds, which would be good because I don't have a lot of seeds. I know seeds are also instrumental in thorncraft because you need the herba. Quite a few, and um, when you do need it, you really need it a lot. Because seeds have like one of it, I think. Oh dear. <laughs> I just realized the time. Hmm, this might be a long episode. And also, I'm going to be late for work if I don't go, actually. <laughs> Okay, well, we will finish this in the next episode, then. I will be finally building the quarry. Uh, we will be setting it up at standard size, because I don't have all year to leave the computer running for it to finish. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.